Hi and welcome to Carlisle College's virtual open day. My name's Vicky and I'm the account manager on the business development team here at the college. So this session that we'll be running for the next hour will look at hair, beauty and hospitality. And you'll be hearing from my colleague Lynn, um, who specialises in these subject areas, so she'll be able to give you some more detail on those. Now, hopefully you can see and hear me. Um, however, we won't be able to see or hear you for this session. Um, and so you'll need to communicate using the questions box that you'll be able to see on your screen. Um, looks like some speech bubbles. So that's the box if you have any questions pop them in there um, and we will try and get through as many as we possibly can at the end of the session. Um, if there's any that we can't get to, I'll provide you with an email address so that you can send those through um, and one of my colleagues will be able to get back to you with an answer to any questions you may have. Now, we'd have loved to have had you in the college with us today to be able to show you the facilities that we have. Um, however, at the moment, that's just not possible. And so we've created some PowerPoint presentations and also some videos um, to give you as much insight as we possibly can. Now, Bear with us because as I go through this content, there might be some small delays um, that come from me moving from video to presentation. Um, we will come back and um, it will just be a short delay. It'll just be a stop in the broadcast as those change. So I'm going to begin by passing you over to my colleague Andy. Andy is our Director of Business Development and Marketing at the College and he's going to give you a little bit more of an insight into life at Carlisle College. I'm Andy Dodds and I'm one of the Directors at Carlisle College and I'm here to give you an introduction to Carlisle College and an overview of what it's like to study here. So if we move straight on to the purpose and vision of Carlisle College, the purpose is to unlock potential through learning with a vision to be a college empowering learners and businesses through excellence and innovation for Cumbria's future prosperity. So you may not know, but Carlisle College did join NCG in 2017, and that's a national group of colleges. And that means that we're now part of one of the UK's largest providers of education, training and employability. But don't worry, there's no change for students. But what it does mean is that Carlisle College can benefit from NCG's full backing for future growth and development. And you can see there on the bottom of the screen some of the colleges which Carlisle College are part of as the NCG group, which does include Newcastle College as one of our local neighbours. So in terms of life at Carlisle College then, you will be treated like an adult and you'll be expected to act like one. It's a place where students are of all ages, courses run on different times and days, so there is no structured timetable as such like you would have at school where there's designated lunch times, designated break times, designated start and end times. Everybody's on completely different timetables tailored to their individual subject choices. So you won't hear the bell ring um, or anything like that. It is much of a, a different environment, but hopefully it will be an environment where you can meet new friends, you can learn new skills, and it will provide yourself with a stepping stone to the future. So if we then look at some of the uh, key uh, points of Carlisle College, some of the key facts, we are really proud of the fact that we have a fantastic industry standard equipment and resources. We are really well equipped at our college and it's just a shame that you can't physically be there to see our multi-million pound campus investment that has been millions of pounds put into Carlisle College over the last few years and really when people do visit us they are surprised by just how much the place has changed and that is complemented by highly qualified tutors uh, with specialist knowledge and a wealth of industry experience so the tutors that are teaching you or will teach you and um, all have industry background which is great for you so that means if for example if you're studying hairdressing you'll be taught by people who've worked in hair salons if you're going to be studying motor vehicle you'll be taught by people who have worked in motor vehicle garages and all of that really supports great progression this is something a great theme for us is that we are really proud of the progression of our students into work further study including university and we do have a wide range of courses and you'll find out about some as part of this virtual open day and those courses range from entry level through to degrees so if we move on then and look at some of the facilities 
within Carlisle College itself. We have our student services department, which will help you with financial support, university applications through UCAS, a careers advice service, and a whole range of pastoral care as well. You'll also be able to get involved in lots of competitions and council events. We have a student council, we have a learner voice, so you can really have an impact and a say on what happens at college and also get to enjoy the campus facilities as well. We have an Oyster Bistro and Restaurant, which is run by our catering students, and our Essence Salons, which are run by our hair and beauty students. So plenty to get involved in. Then, if we now look at why choose Carlisle College, well, importantly, if we look at what Ofsted had to say in their last report, they found that Carlisle College has successfully maintained a good quality of provision since the merger with NCG. And again, they picked up on what I've just been talking about in that teachers use their vocational expertise well to help learners understand the link between their studies and future work scenarios. And also that we've designed study programmes well to give learners the experiences that they need to help them progress towards their next steps in education, training or work. So it's very much not just about what you do at Carlisle College, but equipping you for what you are going to do next. So if we now take a look at the number of students at Carlisle College, we usually say we have around about 3,000 students, but don't worry, they're not all in the college on the same day. And those students uh, vary from our biggest uh, group of students is our 16 to 18 year olds, where we have just over 1,200 there. We also have a population of around about 700 apprentices who come into college one day a week as part of their apprenticeship, and then a range of adult learners and those who are studying university level courses as well. So if we now move on to look at again picking up on some of that student support it is important that as well as having a course tutor you will also have a progress coach who is assigned to you and they will really make sure that you uh, have the best chance of success on your course and look after you and make sure that you're progressing well. That'll uh, help with progress reviews with your tutor and also we have an extensive learning support team who can assist with any learning or disability needs that you may have to support you in your studies. Now looking at financial support, it's important to note that full-time further education students who are under 19 at the start of their course will receive free tuition. For those who are over 19, they may qualify for a 19 plus advanced learner loan. So you apply for that, the loan is paid directly to Carlisle College to cover your tuition fees, household income isn't taken into account and you only start paying that loan back once your salary exceeds the threshold amount which is currently at around about £26,000 per annum. You will also potentially be eligible for uh, free courses if you're on some form of support such as job seekers allowance or employment and support allowance and there's also help with um, childcare costs for those who require that the free school meals provision continues on into college and there's potential for free travel for eligible students as well for those who live more than three miles away from the college. So lots of help and support there for you. Now as part of your studies at Carlisle College it is also important to recognise that you will have the opportunity to develop your English and math skills because we know how important they are for your future. So for those who haven't achieved their grade four at GCSE in maths or English, there is the opportunity to work towards that grade four and have the opportunity to resit those exams. Course entry requirements now. Um, we, our courses operate at range of levels from level one, level two, level three. And as you can see there, the level which you go on to depends on what grades you get at GCSE. So if you're looking at grades nine to four at GCSE, you'll be looking at level three courses. If you're grades uh, two or one, you'll be looking at level one courses. However, it is important to note that in some areas, you do have to start on lower level courses first in order to gain the necessary vocational skills to move up. So sometimes it's a combination of your GCSE results, your vocational um, knowledge, and in some cases as well, there may be a, a portfolio that has to be produced or a um, you may have to do an audition and that's typically in the arts area. So do bear that in mind as well, but our job is to make sure that we get you on the right level of course. And don't worry about those who won't be sitting exams this year and will be getting uh, calculated grades instead. They are very much valid for us and we will take those into consideration. 
So I've mentioned quite a bit about the destinations of our students and on the whole over 90% of our students go into employment or further study which is great and of those actually 200 students apply for university through UCAS each year. So actually we're one of the largest institutions in North Cumbria in terms of the number of students that do go on to university and again is something which we can help you with. And as mentioned earlier, we have over 700 apprentices who work with 350 leading local employers. And we're very much geared up to make sure that you have the best possible destination. So we've got some examples now on the next slide, which again shows, for example, Lauren Woff, who studied level three business, who's gone on to the University of York to study business, down to the likes of Alice Ford, who studied level two engineering, who's now gone on to be a rail engineer apprentice with Network Rail. So a whole range there of destinations. Mentioned apprenticeships a few times there, but just to let you know that Carl College does offer apprenticeship uh, opportunities, and they are uh, not just in your traditional areas, but also in areas such as accountancy, IT software development, um, and um, digital marketing. So there are lots of opportunities there, and that is where you will uh, be out in the workplace four days a week, and then you come into Carlisle College to study typically one day a week. And we have got a dedicated session as part of our virtual open day on apprenticeships where you can find out more information. So finally then, uh, just to look at uh, what happens then, um, hopefully you'll be interested in making an application to Carlisle College. Applications are still open for September and you apply online um, through the Carlisle College website, find the course that you're interested in and then apply. You would then normally be invited to a future student event, but due to the circumstances, we are having to do those remotely at the minute, predominantly via phone, uh, where we will contact you following your application. That hopefully will then lead to an offer for a place on a course, which we would be delighted if you would accept, and that will then result you in being invited into enrol and in late August, ready to start in September. So finally then, in terms of uh, keeping in touch with us at Carlisle College, we'd love it if you would like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and that'll give you a really good way of finding out what's happening on campus and keeping up to date with all developments at Carlisle College. What I'm now gonna leave you with is a college video, which although, as you can't be there today to see the college for yourself, this video will give you a bit of an insight into the facilities that we do have in Car at Carlisle College. So finally, on, on my behalf, I'd like to thank you uh, for attending this session. I hope that has given you a good overview of Carlisle College and that will kind of set the scene before you then have the opportunity to delve into more detail on the particular subject that you're interested in. Thank you.
I'm Lynn Nicholson. I'm the curriculum lead for Health Science and Services. And today I'm going to focus on the services part of our department. So that includes hairdressing, barbering, makeup, beauty therapy, complementary therapy and catering. Everything, um, all of the courses that I'm going to talk about are all set up exactly the same way. They're a study programme. So you'll do your maths and English if you haven't achieved the required grade. If you have achieved the required grade, you will be doing an extended project to help you um, with your maths and English skills to keep them up. You'll also do one to one tutorials, which will be with your course tutor. And this is to discuss your progress, how well you're doing, if there's any issues, what you're doing really well. Then you'll have a group tutorial once a week and your group tutorial are headline topics, current topics, it's debates and it's also about your health and well-being. You'll also do your vocational qualification, which I'll go into more detail as we go along. You'll also do some work placement as well. Everybody's required to do some work placement and it can vary between 20 hours, 30 hours, 40 hours. Um, and we encourage you to do this so that you can get hopefully a job at the end of it. So my first slide. It's just taking its time. So um, I've split it into sections. So this is hairdressing and barbering. So we offer a level one certificate in an introduction to the hair and beauty sector. We offer a certificate in hairdressing, a diploma in hairdressing at level two, a diploma at level three and a level two certificate in barbering. So I'm just going to break down these units slightly. So within all of the units, can we have the next slide, please? With all of the units, um, you will have health and safety running through it and client care and comf uh, client care and communication. So just a couple of standout um, that we do uh, units that we do within the certificate in hairdressing is you style women's hair. So this is learning how to shampoo, condition, blow dry, um, set hair, do the different type of curling. Then you'll do plaiting and twisting. And that is all the different types of plaits and twists that you can do. And at the end, you'll do a big image and it's called Create Hair and Beauty Image. And we usually do a competition. So that's your level one certificate. Next slide. Your level two diploma in hairdressing. So this one is um, for, for you to be able to then go into industry and at the end of it be a qualified hairdresser. So it's all of your different cutting techniques. It's all of your colour and lightning techniques. So that's your foil, your cap highlights. You'll also be doing plaiting and twisting, shampooing. Um, and you will also be doing a bit more about promotion of sales and promotion of products. Within the industry, you have to promote yourself, promote the products and promote your salon. Um, so again, running through that will be your health and safety and working with others in your client care communication. You'll also do a theme at the end of it um, where you put all of the looks together that you've created. And again, it'll be a competition. The next one is your level three diploma in hairdressing and this is advanced hairdressing. So this is your colour correction, your bridal hair, bringing in more techniques. So you're bringing in hair pieces, you're bringing in ornaments in the hair and you're also doing colour correction. So that's maybe correcting a colour that your clients maybe put on themselves at home or they're wanting to go from black to the ash blonde. And it's all about how you get through that. Again, running all through all these qualifications, you will do anatomy and physiology and you will be doing theory knowledge that will be linked to this and you'll be doing exams and written questions as well to promote your practical. Next slide, please. So this is a level two in certificate in barbering. So your barbering again is cut facial hair for men and cut men's hair. So this is all your detailing for men, your different type of haircuts, your facial haircuts and also about how to keep on top of the hair. Um, obviously it's coarse hair that's on your facial hair. So it's all about maintaining that and keeping it to the best condition it can be. Throughout Hair and Beauty, you will be working on real clients and you will be working in a real work environment. So you'll practice first within hairdressing on blocks. Then when your tutor thinks you're competent, you'll then start bringing in friends and family. Or if you can't bring them in, we will then open the book and it will be walking clients like a real working salon. So going into beauty therapy now. So your beauty therapy level one certificate in beauty therapy, level two diploma in beauty, 
Level 3 Diploma in Beauty and Level 4 Certificate in Higher Education. So I'll just go through these units again. So again, just like the hairdressing, you've got your um, health and safety throughout, working with others and client consultation. At level one, you'll be doing basic manicures, basic pedicures, basic makeup and basic skincare. And this will enable you, once you've completed this, to be a junior in a salon. So leading on from there, or if you've got the requirements, you can do level two. Now, level two beauty is the majority of what you'll do in the salon. So it's your full manicure, your full pedicure, your full makeup, your full facials, waxing and eyebrow treatments. Uh, again, we'll, we've uh, brought in tanning as well because a lot of people now are wanting tan. So we've brought tanning techniques in and this will help you hopefully to um, secure a job at the end of it. You'll also be doing about contributing to running a business. So this is how to promote yourself, how to promote stock and how to promote your salon. And again, health and safety runs through everything within this, uh, you, this level as well. Sorry. Yeah, so level three, so the level three diploma in beauty therapy is more of your advanced. So you're, you've worked on your facials at level two and at level three, you're going into electrical facials. So this is things like your microderma, abrasion, your, um, your EMS and your G5 as well for your body massage. You'll also do stone therapy massage. So again, it's taken that massage to the next level. Again, you'll be doing running of business and client care communication. At this level, you will take more of a role as a salon manager and you'll help out with level two and level one and you'll help run salon sessions for the real clients that are coming in. Next slide, please. So level four is if you want to go into management. So um, this is over a two year I think, sorry, this one's over a two year course and it's the business management. Within it, you'll do aesthetics, you'll do micro, microblading and you'll do skin rejuvenation such as vampire facials, things like that. Because it's a level four, it will have a lot of anatomy and physiology. Obviously, you're doing treatments that could hurt the client for your microblading, for example. Um, so there is a lot of health and safety that runs through this as well. Next slide, please. Level two makeup, level three makeup and your level four makeup. So the level two uh, makeup course that we do, we do the level two hair and makeup combined. So this is good if you want to do the weekend looks for clients or if you want to go do proms and weddings. So again, you'll be doing your health and safety. You'll be doing photographic makeup and um, how to apply makeup. You'll do brows consultation of hair, shampooing and condition, styling women's hair and temporary colouring. And at the end of this, like the other, un the other courses, you will do a create an image and that will incorporate all of the techniques that you've learned and it will be a competition at the end. So your level three diploma goes up slightly and that is more of your fashion, your airbrush makeup, your postiche. So your postiche is making ball caps and putting wigs onto it. You'll do camouflage makeup to, to um, camouflage tattoos, to camouflage um, imperfections, scarring. You'll do full body art and, and you'll also do semi-permanent lash application and that is your level three diploma. Your level four is over two years and you do flat piece casting, fashion and editorial makeup, special effects makeup. So this is things like um, if you've ever seen casualty, for example, on the telly and you see that there's a bone sticking out, um, it's all that kind of stuff that you'll be doing. Um, you'll also do business management as well within that unit because it is a big business and management. In year two, you do head body prosthetics and then you will do showcasing. So you will be putting on a show for family, friends and the paying public. Next one is complementary therapy. So this year we're doing level three, level two and level three complementary therapy. You just go on to the next slide. So you're not, um, your complementary therapy is about the health and well-being of your clients. So it's a journey that your client goes on. Whereas in beauty therapy, it, quite a lot of it is superficial. 
um, beauty products. This is getting down to the root cause of why you maybe have, for example, psoriasis, eczema, and it's about uh, bringing in different techniques to help with that. So within the level two and level three, you'll do reflexology, you'll do full body, body massage, you'll do pre branded and uh, aromatherapy massage, and you'll also do healthy well-being um, and eating. You've also got quite a lot of anatomy and physiology that runs um, underneath this. Um, that is to support that background, that holistic background in um, identifying conditions within your client. So number three, uh, level three, sorry, is just a more advanced of level two. You will do a lot more case studies at level three. So please be aware that you will have to have clients. Look for a client that maybe, as I said before, have got psoriasis. You will treat that client for the beginning. You'll do a case study with all the different treatments and then you'll do the outcome come at the end. Now this um, could be quite a lot of treatments. It could be 40, 50, 60 different treatments. So just be aware of that. So um, while you're enjoying the sunshine, um, ask friends and family if they will come in for you and be a case study. So get yourself out and about and start networking with your friends and family. So activities to do with complementary therapy, hairdressing and um, beauty therapy is just some of them. We have got a trip to Iceland. We do centre parks. We work really well with centre parks. We do well a cutting and colour workshop. We do the Blackpool hair show. So we've got two learners at the moment that's got through to the finals. We do air base demonstration, which is your air base makeup. We do Pierre René and Eve Taylor. At the end of that, you will get a certificate from them that makes you more employable. So the large salons, for example, the Holston, they do Pierre René um, and it makes you more employable. We do professional beauty trade shows, which you'll go and see the trades um, prior to the trades um, being out in industry. So it could be a year before we see them in the shops. We do Alton Tower Scare Fest with the level two medium makeup and the level three and the level fours. And we also do um, the Christmas, Christmas markets um, for a day out. And that's just some of the events that we do. Right, hospitality and catering. So again, like beauty therapy, we've got really good facilities at Carlisle College. We've got two working kitchens, um, we've got a bistro and we've got a restaurant. So um, within the hospitality services and the cookery, you'll be working either in the kitchen upstairs, which is a training kitchen, in the kitchen downstairs, which is a bistro, and then that opens up for a real working environment, which is your oyster, oyster bistro. That is open through the day and it's open again on an evening um, and you will be um, helping to serve and you'll prepare meals and you will um, at level three you will design the meals okay so level one is maintain food safety when storing preparing and cooking food you will be doing your health and safety you will be working eff effectively as part of a team you will be doing your preparation of vegetables you will cook vegetables prepare and cook meat and poultry Pre prepare and clear areas and you will also do provide a table tray service so this is like your silver service so you'll be learning how to wait on and how to um, uh, dish the food up correctly okay from there you can go on to level two or if you've got the qualifications for your level two diploma in hospitality so again your health and safety runs through it and your hospitality working as a team and um, give customer a positive impression of yourself and your workplace maintain food safety safety, storage, preparation and cooking. You will do counter and takeaway service. So this is what I was saying before when we were in, when you will be working in the bistro, you'll be preparing meals and you will be serving the meals to the general public. There'll be cooking of meat and poultry, producing basic pasta and fish dishes, producing basic rice, pulses and grain dishes, presenting food um, and preparing food for cold presentation and provide basic vegetable dishes. Your level three is more advanced, it's more of your complex dishes. So that is fish, poultry, complex dishes and it's how to cook and finish it, how to cook, prepare, cook and finish hot sauces, soups, breads and doughs and cold desserts. 
You will also um, be in charge of um, doing the theme and that theme will be the theme for the night for your restaurant. So you'll run it, you'll decorate it, you'll make the menu, you'll prep it and you will uh, instruct the level twos on how to how to prepare and you will also instruct the waiting on staff of how you want it uh, to be delivered to the public. So some of the activities, so they do the Talk Door Young Chef of the Year competition and um, we got through to the semi-finals again this year, which is really good. There's the Country Range Young Chef of the Year Challenge. There's the Armed Forces Catering Support Team Career Talks and we also um, support Carlisle Food Bank. So within the bistro that we're running on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and on a Thursday evening when it is the main restaurant, um, if there's any food made up, uh, left over or we might prep a bit more, we will cool it correctly, we will store it and then when we've got quite a big um, amount, we will then take it to the City Food Bank. And I'll give you quite a lot of information quite quickly. Um, but if you do want to talk to me, I, I can do a... Um, I can do a phone call to you and, and to go through things with anybody that wants it. Yeah, what I'm going to do is pop into the chat box um, an email address that you can pick up if you have any questions and you don't want to answer them now or something comes up later in line. Um, feel free to send it to this email address um, and it will be distributed to the relevant department um, or the relevant individual to ask for you. Um, so that is marketing at carlisle.ac.uk um, so that's marketing at carlisle.ac.uk and somebody will be able to come back to you if there's anything that you have to ask that you can't ask today or something you think of later down the line. Um, so for now thank you very much um, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, bye.